In this video we're going to be upgrading an Amiga power supply unit. In my previous Amiga 500 video we identified that this power supply unit does not work, it doesn't produce any power. We're going to remove all the circuitry out of the old box and replace it with this, which is a Meanwell RT50B, a switching power supply, but much more modern. So we're going to start by taking this power supply apart. Now I should warn you that it is quite dangerous taking a power supply apart without doing a couple of checks. Please be careful when taking a power supply to bits. As you can see this power supply has been off for quite some time and the capacitors in it still hold about 50 volts. I used one of the probes to discharge the capacitor by basically shorting it. It always pays to check the hole of the board because you don't want to end up with a nasty shock. I cut off both the AC and DC lines of the power supply and then say goodbye to that board. We don't need it anymore. I get some long cable to extend the DC lines to reach the full length of the box. I did a continuity check just to make sure that the 5 volts is correct, the 12 volts, the minus 12 volts and the ground. It always pays to do this even though the manual says it. Sometimes Commodore can use different cabling. And then basically we just wire it up. We just make sure that the 5 volts is connected in and then the common. Then V2 is the plus 12 volts and the V3 is minus 12 volts. NC means no connection, so nothing goes there. And then you've got the mains part, which is pretty straightforward. We put it all back together and then do some meter readings just to make sure we're getting the correct voltages. And then let's try, try it with the Amiga, why not? Get a boot screen and it's looking good so far. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch any more like this then subscribe.